there you are. Hey! Oh, you're not quite awake, are you? <laughs> Wait, let me set you up. <laughs> okay. Three, two, one. Hello everybody and welcome to this new video. <laughs> Been a while, hasn't it? Been a while. Yeah. Again. It's been a while again. Yeah. As you can see, I've got a new camera, which is great. Um, yeah, why? What, what happened? Why did things happen? Um, I got some notes over here, so don't worry about me looking down there. That's why. <laughs> also, I got my window open. I'll close this in a second, but yeah, don't worry about the sounds in the background. I got to like keep fresh air in this room because um, one of my rabbits is currently living in my room. <laughs> Wait, um, I'll show you her. Um, don't be, I'll just put like kind of a disclaimer right here. This rabbit is in a bad condition. She's old and she's ill. She won't look good, okay? So please, if you don't like seeing things like that, just skip 30 minutes ahead, uh, 30 minutes, 30 seconds ahead after this cut. So, yeah. Oh, hey. Look who's been a good girl. Look. Hello. Say hi. Yeah, I can't really take her in my arm because she shit she shed that's good I put you down sorry look at you great big girl yeah um this was unpla- oh shit I got shit on my hand <laughs> wait oh, I have sound angelassen <laughs> Got that out of my, out from my hand. <laughs> I'm so happy that, that she shed, that's unbelievable. Um, she actually, I, I guess she has cancer. Like she has some really weird, hard bits on her stomach. And we kind of hold our uh, rabbits, or I hold my rabbits like kind of wildly. <laughs> they just, they have their stable, they have, um, space where they can like hop around and be happy <laughs> rabbits um, and uh, that's why I don't really like touch them all that often because they don't like to be touched <laughs> um, uh, and I don't want to like be mean about their like personal space and stuff I know that sounds may sound stupid to some but um, I mean they're not stuffed animals I can't just like take them whenever I want to they have they are living beings and um, they show quite clearly that they don't like to be held <laughs> I am um, one of my rabbits was always uh, fun when I had to like I had of course I inspected them like with their claws and stuff if those were like short enough that they didn't hurt themselves but um every time I did that she like scratched open my whole arm but uh, yeah she this rabbit Lucy Lucy wasn't always, always like, she was pretty shy, but still you could like hold her and stuff. And I did inspect her when I, when I noticed that she wasn't eating well, but I couldn't find anything because she was quite, um, yeah, round at that point and quite fluffy because it was winter, um, or it is winter. And I, I, I even like, so weird I kind of I felt her stomach and I couldn't find anything and now there are just these weird knots everywhere and I think those are tumors because she comes from um, well incest I guess and also like <laughs> get not not a great family history <laughs> and uh, yeah but yeah it's kind of sad because I'm scared that she's just like hurting herself right now Sadly, this happened over the holidays, so I'll go to the vet tomorrow 
and see what they will say about that. I'm not... I, I really lost hope for a positive um, outcome, but yeah. Also, my horse is, like, ill. Getting better, I guess, but we don't really know. You can't really look at <laughs> the thing he heard. Like, he kind of, like, he snapped something in his leg. Like, uh, fucking, what's that called? A tendon? Like, something, something like that, you know what I mean. Something that pulls the muscle. Yeah. And uh, he nearly snapped that completely. And, uh, yeah, now we're just walking him twice a day for 15 minutes. So it could maybe get better, <laughs> if at all. Um, and, yeah. I, uh, it seems like I'm also failing the education I'm just pursuing. I am being educated to become a physiotherapist and I, uh, it seems like I'll fail the next exam. And, uh, yeah, that's shit. <laughs> also, I'm in the worst physical shape I've been in since years. Don't have any muscles right now. <laughs> like, uh, yeah, it's, it's bad. I don't know if I've really lost weight, but it feels like I've lost weight. I don't really like, I don't look at that shit because it's poison for your brain. <laughs> I don't weigh myself, but I don't have any muscles, like, actually, it's just, it's just nothing. It's just, do you see that? That's so soft. No muscle here. No, I mean, yeah, there's some muscle, but I lost all my arm strength, all my upper body strength. I was so, I was in such a good shape and then just everything kind of fell apart. I got a cold, a really bad cold. Um... Where also, like, my my torso hurt every time I coughed or laughed or stuff like that. So, that's great. Um, still don't know what that was. I just felt kind of like I, have, I had a fever and I... My guess is it was something, like, something was really infected in my lung or something. Because, I mean, I had pretty much all the all the signs for different diseases, but... Whatever, I went to the doctor once and she was like, yeah, just kind of just drink some tea and stuff and just wait. <laughs> if it doesn't get better, come back and we, we'll see what we can do. It didn't get better, but I didn't ca come back because <laughs> I don't have that many great experiences in the last... I haven't made that many great experiences in the last year with doctors because... Um, I got some stomach issues and uh, it's been a hell of a ride to kind of get anything checked out with that. Um, thing is, uh, I went to the doctor, the doctor's office like five times because um, I was scheduled to be there at an appointment and four out of five times she wasn't even there. And then the, the one time that she was there, she didn't do the exam that should have been done. She just, just kind of like gave me a permit to go to another doctor. And then that doctor said, huh, yeah, that that's bad. Yeah, and they just will just try to keep like your stomach, uh, the fluid in your stomach. I don't know what that's called in English, uh, like low. So maybe that's the problem. And I'm like, great, cool. Um, tried that, didn't, that didn't feel too good, but whatever, and then I just stopped taking any meds because I was so fucking annoyed by everything, because no one really helped me, and, uh, yeah, I was mad, I was really mad, and now I'm at a phase where I'm, like, so not into trying to get better. Because it feels like everything is just falling apart. <laughs> Everyone around me is just getting ill and dies. And uh, that's not that's not true, but that's what my head is telling me. And um, 
Yeah, that's bad. Uh, but as you can see, I got a new camera. I got some new inspiration. Because I had the feeling that everything I create just sucks. <laughs> and uh, yeah. That's why I didn't post. I filmed many videos and I didn't post any of that because I was like, wow, this sucks. You suck. Stop. <laughs> Just stop. <laughs> but I got new inspiration and I got new strength and new energy, I guess. A new vibe. <laughs> Year is nearly over. And uh, I just got a new mindset because you know whatever happens happens you can't even defend yourself against it happening because everything will happen in one way or another somehow everything will fall into place in the end and you can't even you can't even do anything against that it's just going to happen and you can't stop everything from doing that can't stop anything from doing that because you know then it still falls into place somehow but you are just passive while it's doing its thing and um, yeah if i fail my education nice then i'll do that and i'll do something else where maybe i earn money so i can move the fuck out <laughs> because i can't do this anymore and I am tired, <laughs> but uh, yeah, got some new nice fake friends <laughs> that I don't talk to because, no, I can't say that, because I'm just enjoying the time where I don't talk to them. <laughs> One person is trying to come back into my life which I'm not happy about and uh, not giving them any kind of attention because they don't deserve that shit. They moved away. They they didn't move away in a physical sense. They, they just, they left. They left. I didn't leave. They left. And uh, they can fucking <laughs> lick my ass. <laughs> Go the fuck away. I don't care anymore. Yeah. Great, I hope this was enjoyable watching my little mental breakdown. And uh, yeah, get ready for some new nice content in the new year. I'm sorry that this was so fucking depressing, but I am depressed. <laughs> and um, this is all that's coming out right now. Maybe I'll do something funny again <laughs> at some point. But yeah, thanks for watching. I hope you have a really nice evening and that your life is more in place than my is right now. But, you know, we can all, we'll all find a way in some way or another. So, thanks for listening to me. And I'll see you in the next, hopefully, more creative video. Who knows? <laughs> I'll go drink now. Bye. <laughs>